Jeff, everybody. Yeah. Okay, so um, where do I start? So uh, I'd say it was about five years ago. Uh, my boss uh, came up to me and said, Jeff, I want you to go to Ireland in March and spend a month there. Who knows what March is in Ireland? Exactly, St. Patrick's Day. So um, March in Ireland is an absolute brilliant time. Um, the people there are absolutely incredible. The, the, the place itself is just incredible. Um, and if you walk around Ireland, I, I was walking around Ireland on St. Patrick's Day. Uh, and one of my uh, colleagues was flying in that day. Um, so we had a few drinks together. Uh, and when you fly into Ireland, it, it's, you know, you're on an overnight flight. You're ready to, uh, you know, hit the sack as soon as you get there. But you still want to stay up a while. It's St. Patrick's Day. You don't want to miss the festivities. Uh, so uh, he and I had a few drinks uh, together. Uh, and then uh, he decided to go back to his hotel uh, and take a nap. So I ended up doing the same thing, only I went back to my hotel to have, uh, to, to take a break and have a few more drinks and some food. Uh, and along with that food um, came some conversation as well. So uh, a few folks at, uh, at a table next to mine uh, ended up saying, hey man, c come over here, we, uh, so let's talk. Um, so we ended up uh, uh, starting to talk, and, and one of the guys is very, very friendly. Uh, and he started to uh, say, you know, we're, we're going to go to this other pub after, after here. You've got to come out with us. It's, it's going to be grand. It's going to be great. You've got to come out with us. And I said, no thanks. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm going to stay uh, uh, here. Uh, I didn't want to go out anymore. And I kind of felt, and this is where the love objects comes in, uh, I kind of felt like I was, uh, you know, turning him down. And I felt a little bad. But I, anyways, I, I kept my ground. Uh, and a few minutes later, uh, we ended up uh, uh, talking a little more. He says, uh, oh, man, you got to come out with me to this other pub. It's going to be great. It's going to be grand. We're going to have such a great time. Uh, and I said, no, no, no thanks, I'm, I'm good. Uh, so a few minutes later, cutting to the chase, um, once more he says, oh man, you gotta come out. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be grand, we're gonna have a blast, it's my birthday, you can't miss it. <laughs> and once again I feel like I'm objecting, and, and, but, but I, I still, I stand my ground and I say, no, I, I'm, I'm good, I'm gonna stay here. Um, we're standing just a few feet apart, you know, maybe in arm's length. Uh, he decides he doesn't want me to stay uh, at, at, at that pub. He wants to bring me with him. So he bends over, rushes me, tries to throw me over his shoulder to carry me to another pub. Now, I objected to this. <laughs> Uh, and I felt a little bad for how I handled it. I, I, I didn't think so at that point, but I, I, I objected a little too strongly. Uh, I kind of, number one, this, this guy's had a few by this point. I mean, we're, we're five, six o'clock in the afternoon. It's St. Patrick's Day. I need not say more. Uh, he, he's lit. Uh, so um, I kicked out of it, you know, and not, you know, gently enough. I didn't want to get dropped on my head. Um, it's not usually a good thing. Uh, and um, I backed away and kindly told him uh, to step back, and, and then I, I left the room. Um, I think he felt uh, a little down. So that's my story. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.